Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. So good to have you here. So I've been in this whole Lego hobby for quite some time now and I've been pretty active on both YouTube and Instagram especially. And basically I have met so many incredible, lovely, talented humans through this hobby that I just kind of wanted to take some time today to highlight some of them and talk about some of the awesome stuff that's happening on Instagram. These are the people that you should really check out and follow. There is an infinite number of these people, honestly. Like, I've spent so much time on Instagram just going like, oh my god, there are so many incredibly talented people out there. Like, I can't include everybody and you should 100% check out that awesome stuff they do because honestly, they deserve some more attention for what they're doing. So I'm going to be putting up some of the posts and things that they do up here and also I'll be putting all their details down in the description below so if you want to find out more about them, either their Patreon or just their Instagram account, it will all be down in the description so please go check out these awesome humans. Um, this is just going to be Instagram focused so for the time being I'm going to be talking about people I've met on Instagram. So. Let's get started! So first up we have Marco from minifig.psd and this guy is incredibly lovely and insanely talented. So he designs basically his Dream CMF series and honestly his designs are beautiful. They are so spot on. It's honestly the way he translates movie into actual figure is incredible. I absolutely love seeing every single thing he comes out with. Every time I see new ones go, I really wish I could buy this. Then we have the lovely Laura and Callum from Scarlet Patronus and you may have seen these ones around. So they create instructions and stickers for Mop. So they've done some really awesome ones like Sugar Plums, they've done Honey Dukes, they've done Zonkos, they've done some really lovely stickers for mocks. I'm actually in the process of collecting all the bricks to make their free um, Butterbeer stand. I've purchased the sticker from them off eBay um, but the instructions for the Butterbeer stand are free and it looks really cool so I've mocked it slightly to not have any snow on the roof but I'm going to be including that in my Diagon Alley soon so you will be seeing that. But these people are so lovely honestly. They do some awesome work. They Honestly the designs they come up with are fantastic and the great thing is if you like some of their mocks and you get the bricks you can buy their stickers as well because Calendar's all the sticker design which is so cool. Then on to my newest friend that I've made on Instagram. He's called James, he's absolutely wonderful and the account he runs is Ministry of Making and he's only just started and oh my god this guy is so talented. So basically he started with the Ministry of Magic which obviously we haven't really seen any sets of yet. Like it's such an awesome big thing and there is no Lego sets out of it and he's been dipping his toe in the water of mocks but also he's been designing some amazing customs. So there is Rita Skeeter, which is my favourite, there is Mafelda Hup Kirk, there is Umbridge, basically just please go check him out. There are so many cool things on there. He is super talented. If you're interested in customs, if you're interested in this design, please go and check him out. And he also has plans to release instructions for his mock, as well as stickers together with Scarlet Patronus, because they're kind of working together on the stickers, which is super, super cool. I love it when people like find each other on Instagram and work together. It's so cool. So please go check him out as well. I think I'm saying that for every single one, obviously. Every single link is down below. Then the next one, and he's I think probably the, one of the more well-known ones in this list, we've got JL Bricks. Now he also has an amazing YouTube channel where he showcases some of his mocks, but this guy is so talented. He just designs so many mocks. He's done Hogsmeade Station, he's done Malfoy Manor, he's done loads of Diagon Alley customs. So we've seen so many cool mocks from him. His layout of Hogwarts is amazing as well. If you go to his YouTube channel, you'll be able to see like how he's mocked his actual Lego sets. Honestly, I'm so glad that he has so much time to dedicate to making these mocks. Again, super talented guy. So that concludes my Harry Potter mock people list. I kind of wanted to talk about two more people that do some amazing mocks, but these are more Lord of the Rings themed. I just wanted to start with Lego mock lock. This guy, does the most incredible Lord of the Rings mocks. They just blow my mind every time. I think I found him with his Rivendell mock, which is gorgeous. Definitely inspired by the Lego set that's out and just kind of just amplified five million times. He's recently built it as well in actual bricks. Oh my God, guys, please go check out this guy. Um, his patron is down below as well as his rebrickable link. His work is incredible. He's recently done the UCS uh, Medicelled Hold and it looks fantastic, honest to God. Every time he this guy designs something, I'm just completely blown away. Please go check him out. Up next, we have Martin Lego Design. You may know him. He has some 
awesome Bilbo figures. Basically I found him because he did an amazing Arthur's absolutely beautiful Lich King mock um, but he's recently done a Sauron that completely blew my mind. Honest to god it looks so good. I actually haven't got any buildable figures in that sense of Lego so these ones are just fantastic and I would absolutely love to have these in my collection. He does some amazing other mocks like they're all super ingenious. He's got an amazing moving Nazgul as well as well as just some other really cool things so he is super talented as well and I really like his building style because it's something I'm not very good at. He does like really technic figure builds which is just really not something that I normally do so it's really cool to see him work on those mocks. They all deserve our support but if you want some inspiration and just want to see some really cool Lego things they are like the perfect people to check out. Then I also just wanted to talk about some other people who do fantastic mocks but more for their layout so they may not produce any instructions but they are massive inspirations to me especially the, and they're absolutely wonderful humans that really need to just be checked out if you want some Harry Potter or Lego inspiration. I wanted to start with Christina from N the Empire Bricks. Now she's one of the first Lego Instagrammers I found and her layout has just grown so much and when I joined in August she inspired me so much and I asked her loads of questions because I was just getting into Lego and she was so kind and like really happy to answer them and honestly anything that she builds is such an inspiration because she always take she'll always like start from like the set and then just create something fantastic out of it really with her own spin she really does what she wants to do and what works for her to her layout and that's just so lovely it's so creative I really love seeing her work and it's just such a massive inspiration to me as well as just being such a lovely human. So it's really lovely chatting to her as well. So if you want to see some amazing layouts, do go check out her channel. Then a recent find is Herz Brucker. So he's a German Instagrammer and he's been creating a massive Diagon Alley recently, um, just with his own bricks. Like I don't think he's working from any instructions, he's just working with bricks and just kind of what he wants to build and honestly it looks so cool and it's kind of been really inspiring for me that you don't really have to start with like picture perfect, just kind of see what works, like take your bricks, see what comes together and you can always like change the colour and stuff after. It's just really, really cool to see and his diagonality has been such an inspiration for me as well. He's an incredibly talented builder and honest to god I'm so glad I found his channel. Again, links down below. If you're thinking about extending your diagonally, looking at his is like really helpful. Now then we have a few more other sort of Instagram shout outs which is for Ben Builds Lego. So he's actually the only mock I have built so far. He is the guy that made the uh, Fellowship of the Ring skyline that I have in my room and he does amazing mocks of anything you could think of. There's a really cool Jurassic Park one, there's like Disney ones. Um, they ju he just does skylines and he does them so well. So if you're into architecture or just would like to see them and you're into like architecture maybe for more fantasy things because obviously that's not something Lego does, Ben Bill's Lego's mocks are fantastic. And then there's only two more left and these are more general Lego layouts. So the first one is Northwest Bricks or NW Bricks. I've mentioned them before in my channel. Owen City is just one of the cities that inspires me most. I think it's because he takes sets as they come in package and just really just puts the they're just put in a city that is just so unique and so detailed and so unlike anything else I've seen which is just really fantastic because I do find because we're all working with the same modulars it's really easy to kind of have a similar vibe to a city and actually I found that Omens find a really great way of blending like Lego modulars with trains with fantasy castle which you know I'm I'm down for that. He takes amazing photos, his city is beautifully detailed and I am really really jealous every time I see his photos because I just wish I could add trains to my city because I love trains. And then the last shout out of today is Ethan. He creates amazing mocks and adds light to them and takes some fantastic photos. My favourite recently has been the mirror of Galadriel that he's done. Basically he is so very talented and his mocks are so cool and also because he photographs them because he wants to create certain scenes you'll have this big of a mock but then actually we only see this much of it which is insane because then when you zoom out it's like this whole scene it's beautiful. He's such a talented mock builder as well and he does some amazing customs. If you're in the US if you're after some fantasy customs he prints those so there'll be a link to his shop down below as well. I just wanted to put like this massive like disclaimer on again saying like there is so many people that I absolutely love and I'm so inspired by every single day on Instagram that like listing them all I'd be here for like five days. <laughs> it's been such a fantastic platform and joining the Lego community and really not knowing very much about Lego or what is possible 
being there and having questions and like everybody being so happy to answer them, really helpful, really kind. It's been such a joy and such a great thing to find in this pandemic where like social contact was limited but all of a sudden I found these amazing friends all over the world that want to talk about this hobby. It's, it's honestly amazing. This is just a super short video about some of the people that I could think of right now. So I hope you like these people. If you have favourite Instagrammers, please, please put them down in the description. As I said, I could probably like fill the whole description box up with loads of people. More content coming up. I've got some projects in the works. Thank you so very much for giving me your time. Please like and subscribe. That honestly does really, really help. I don't say it enough, I think, but please like and subscribe. Um, it massively helps me out. And yes, I will. I hope to see you all soon. Thank you so very much for watching. How do?